So we're back again in this world, which isn't overly appealing, but a promise is a promise. Straight at it, huh? New abominations to deal with. No rest for the wicked. There's no range on this thing. So, last time I promised I would get to things I never got the chance to when you were still around. My memories are still hazy of that time. Of the people who got out, I think Jack took it the hardest, blamed himself the most. Sure, I think too sometimes what I could have done different, but he blames it all on himself. Well, it was his plan to resolve things after all, so I don't know. But um, man, he was really far down by that point, even without them pushing him over the edge. The pills, I mean. Anyway, uh, I think I'll gather my thoughts for a while and talk more about this later. <laughs> Nothing, eh? Not even more hobos sleeping under cardboards. Kind of refreshing to be outside. I'm not sure though if, um, whether I missed something back there. Hmm. Hmm. Something new to club with the hobos with. Timing with this is quite awkward. I'm getting strange vibes of deja vu about exploring the abandoned streets of White's End. Damn, it was cold. The famous winter of 08 felt like it would never end. Literally. We can overcome depression, you don't say. Let's call the helpline and see how useful that'll be. Darkness, my old friend. What the fuck are you talking about? I need help, please! God damn it! Help me! Hmm. That's largely been my experience as well with the so-called professionals.
shit. I don't like the sound of that. Surprisingly tense. Ah, oh, it just keeps getting worse. on these melee weapons really is pitiful. I wish I had a pitchfork or something. That drip is driving me crazy. Again? You gotta be kidding me. <sighs> I wish I could shove this baton up their ass. And stay down, you fucks. Ah, uh, they just keep coming and coming. Ugh, finally.
All right. Some respite, maybe? Uh, I really should have tried dual wielding. Oh, well. Cozy bumfire. I think I gotta wind down a bit after that. It's snowing. Didn't even notice. Wet sludge, though. All too familiar. Uh, do I really need to go down again? And immediately assaulted, how I'm not surprised. Right. Hmm. Where was I? In my thoughts. Okay, so maybe I just should start from the beginning. Do this in like, for the record style. I tried looking at my old notes yesterday in order to build a clear narrative in my head, to get some semblance of coherency to all this, but the more I think of those years-old events, the more they seem to elude me. The notes, what remains from 99, are just mostly nonsense. Feelings, observations, scattered thoughts. Then again, I guess that's to be expected. It was, after all, the time when I lost you. <laughs> We did some journaling exercises with the therapist, as I've told you, but they never... It never went really anywhere. Not until this, I suppose. If one can call it that. Talking to dead people and non-existing future selves. Funny. What I mean is that I never really made full record or confession or whatever about everything that's happened to me. Not to you, not to my parents, not to the therapist, anyone. Maybe talking to the void like this would be my way of doing it. And no, making the forced admission to the police don't count. I didn't even expect that to work. Had to try anyway. But, um, maybe trying to talk out the events of 99 would be the best thing to do, before even attempting to make sense of 08. God knows no one believed us when we got back, and in the end, well, the whole case is officially dead. We've all moved on in our own ways, except Steve and Rebecca, maybe. But, yeah. Anyway, I suppose it doesn't matter if I revise my official statement here and talk things out as I recall them. As they really happened, that is. After all, no one is ever going to hear what I say. Unless someone digs out these recordings someday and by then I'm most likely dead already. And so, who cares, right? Piecing together scattered memories using my notes in Dan's diary hasn't been easy, but for what I remember of the week after you got into the accident is that I ended up encountering something, something, um, not sure what, but even trying to remember it makes me feel chilly. It was something in the old house. 
It was weird in there when I was alone. There was like a wind and whistling everywhere around the house. I thought I was going insane. That's when I called Dan. Huh, I know, right? But he was the only person I knew around there. I just, I didn't want to be alone and the constant whistling wasn't helping. Quite frankly, it was driving me insane. We went to investigate and that's when we first found that well from the basement and the holes in the walls, in the air, in the, uh, um, in the, they, uh, I don't think I'm feeling very well. I think I'll just end it here. <laughs>